Iraqi forces are battling Sunni extremists who have seized the land you see in red in their quest to form an Islamist state in parts of Iraq and Syria. North of Baghdad and Beji, a battle is underway for control of Iraq's largest oil refinery. Black smoke rose from the facility today. Iraq is in danger of breaking apart. It is already a nation split among Sunni and Shia Muslims and the Kurds, each group with its own interests. Holly Williams is in northern Iraq with the Kurds. Okay, so the, the mountains are controlled by ISIS. Yep. Okay. We traveled with Kurdish fighters north of Kirkuk, not far from where they're taking on the militants. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their goal is to protect their own region in the northeast, not to push the militants out of Iraq for good. And like everyone else here, they want control of this. Oil is Iraq's most lucrative industry, but it's also this country's curse because people are willing to fight and die for it. At this checkpoint outside the oil fields, the Kurdish fighters can see the militants, but they're not confronting them. But ISIS are in there. Terrorists. Terrorists. Yeah. With different groups battling for their own interests, many here believe Iraq can no longer survive as one state. You had contact with the Americans? Yeah, before. before. Sheikh Ali al Hatam is a tribal leader who's worked with the US to defeat Islamic militants. We have two options, he told us, splitting the country or civil war. And splitting the country is better than killing each other. That sounds simple enough, but splitting Iraq in three would be complex and probably violent. Still, Sharon, nearly everyone we speak to here in the north of the country tells us that Iraqis can no longer live together. Thank you. Holly Williams from Erbil, Iraq tonight.